In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war and a fan running in my room to keep it from boiling my blood while it's still in my body. As you can see, I knock an orc over. We have here in the painting facilities, just making sure the shot was all right. The rule book, core cool rule book here for Warhammer Forty Thousand. Now. This alone was more than those other two items put together, so the value delivered for this has to be higher than the value delivered for the other things, and this is one item, so let's jump into it. What do I think about? We're going to look it over, and I'll give you guys what, I, what I'm thinking. We'll start off with the cover. They have a very nice, and this is embossed right here. It's real nice looking. It's even striking like through the, through the plastic, the shrink wrap, the plastic wrap there. Um, very nice cover art, uh, up here with the double-headed eagle, and down here with the double-headed eagle, and again, with the star motif, and the kind of watermarking art, as we'll call it, again, for this video, I don't even know what it is, but it's like the, the low coloration difference art that is almost like a watermark, and the theme doesn't really fit as well, in my mind doesn't really skip over as well because as you can see on the brim here we have a uh, the spine we have a uh, space maroon but the space like well the theme of this trans like the space transfers I guess it does transfer in the sense that this is all Warhammer and that's very Warhammer but as somebody who doesn't know like anything about coming from the angle of somebody who didn't know dick about this what the fuck Warhammer 40k is to hear, a little confusing, but that's minor niggling points at the best. I'm just trying to... Oh God. I gotta move a water bottle so I don't cry to chop y'all again. I have my water bottle right there. It's making it hard for me to move. Now, on the back, more nice. As you can see, this is uh, in, like not so much embossed. I don't know if that's the right word, but it's a another level of very nice glossy print. And this really awesome picture of the... Uh, Primaris Marine Struggle. They have down here all the information. And let's crack her open, huh? Let's start off right here. Very nice artwork on the inner page here. I'm digging it. I haven't looked at, like, I haven't sussed out all the details for myself. It appears that there are, again, two kinds of birds here. And, like, there's a, like, a space marine. And like a plague marine, it's probably a primaris marine. I just can't tell the difference right off the top of my head. And you know, there's like a a titan and another titan, and it's a fairly cool print. And this is the kind of stuff that makes m worth spending sixty dollars on this fucking thing because it's sixty fucking bones, guys. That's a lot. Uh, for some people, that's like fucking a quarter of their rent for the month. So it's a lot of money, man. You got to think about this shit. Uh, they have this little text here. They have a shot of the Emperor on his golden throne. Here, we'll get a better shot of this. And as you can see there, that's that very nice shot I was talking about with the, uh, the art there. More of the low differentiation art. We skip this part. A very nice image to welcome us into looking at the book. It's got, again, it's got this very Imperium double-sided kind of motif to it. I'm digging it. It's got, like, the all-sitting eye of chaos and the Nurgle, a plague-looking marine and, like, a, like a regular-looking marine with his, like, a laurels, con whatever the, the battle honors they earn for doing crazy shit. The laurels of victory, whatever the fuck they call it. And we're here. More uh, great art. Like, this is just great art. They do a lot of great art in these books. Like, honestly, there's just a lot of great pictures in here. But that's, like, all that it is. And that's all I have to say about the beginning, so we'll start skipping forward a little bit faster. Uh, great art. As you can see, more watermarking kind of uh, style art around here. The borders contain the same kind of theme all the way through. And the borders add a very nice clothes feeling on certain pages. Where pages like this have a more open, less restricted feeling. And this is all Dark Millennium kind of like lore, I think. But again, 
look at all these great pictures that they have here. Even right here, this picture of this navigator guy with his eyeballs showing shut. It gives you this really nice feeling for the universe. It helps you um, understand like small things like that dude's eyes being sewn shut. Adds that little extra pecan to the darkness that we uh, that is Warhammer. And this right here, obviously, clan, uh, planets. And, like, they just have all kinds of cool stuff in here, man. I've only been so far with this book. So, part of this is, like, me, because I've just been reading it. Part of this is me, like, uh... Well, hmm, it's just classified bits, and that's another nice part here. It's, like, these classified parts here, and you can... Like, look, oh, I wonder what happened there. Mm, they give you a little hint. Oh, I cried, chopped an orc off my desk. I'll show him to you. I dropped him. He hasn't been painted. He's one of the orcs I ordered off of eBay. Just to have an older orc model on hand. Really, I really enjoy things like this because not only do some of the classified and unknown, like the, the two unknown chapters and so forth provide us a little, as the player, a little bit of creative license, but it also uh, gives us more than creative license to do our own thing. It gives us like these little mysteries for our minds to go bananas over. I cry, chopped another orc. I just kind of crammed my orcs out of the way here to film these videos. I cleaned off the desk though yesterday, so there's that. And like great pictures, armies of the Imperium. Let's talk about these sidebars. These sidebars are pretty nice. Look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that sidebar, y'all. I mean. That's a real nice... They put work into this, man. They put a lot of work into even those goofy sidebar things. And, like, on other rule books, they're just, like, blacked out. Karate chop the knob. They're just, like, black boxes with, like, a border around them. But, the, the, like I said, the, border, the borders here are nice. And they go, just go through lore about this, that, and the other thing. And we're going to just skip through here pretty quick. Because we only got a few minutes, and I've already been John long enough. But, yeah, like, they give you great awesome pictures of these miniatures uh, uh, lots of like little quotes hanging around and you know could chaos gods and it, this is all just lore this is all just lore and pictures and maps and stuff for me to dork out about now this is like a, a war zone kind of deal I guess this is like for setting up a campaign. I actually don't know what this is too closely related to as I've not been this far. I've only been like a few pages in. I didn't get a whole bunch of reading done yesterday because uh, reasons. But they have this first criticism is appear it appears that some of these critical rules are laid out in these little sidebars. And not everybody reads those sidebars like right here little just little explanations about how things work but even Matthew at Mini Wargaming has missed out on sidebar rules and that's the small criticism I'm sure there's people that know way more than I do about that about specifically these rule books but I'm rating it against just other rule books I've had from other game systems role playing games and like even we're here at the middle of the book kind of we're here at a binding section you can see they put silk cloth some kind of high quality maybe it's not silk but it's a high quality cloth to bind there and i like that I'm, I'm, I'm about that and they just have all these little textures and the pages and the little addition like i said with the xenos book these these little additions here on the side of the page while not doing much it adds its own nice feeling and Right here is a picture of an orc. Let's go back to see if we can find some of that, what I call watermarking art. Oh, sorry, y'all. I just keep on karate chopping you. It's, it's tough, man, y'all. I'm just playing uh, don't don't karate chop my tablet because obviously you're in, front of, you're in front of my chest and I just set you down and I'm working around you. That's just the way I did it. Because it, it was... I, I set up a thing upstairs, but my bird's a fucking asshole. So, see if we can find... We'll search, we'll go deeper for the watermarking art. They have, maybe it's not as prevalent. Pictures like this, this little side box right here. I like pictures like these a whole lot because that's 
Just a cool little black and white for me to examine. It might not grab my eye right off the bat, but later down the road, I'm like, oh, look at it, man. That's a cool little picture. And, yeah. The rest of this is rules, which is what I think most people bought it for. Like, like down here, the brigade detachment has a little picture at the bottom of it. A bunch of space maroons. And that's fucking cool, man. Right here. More, this is like an orc kind of watermark. And this isn't, this is more like a stylized, kind of like quick draw. I mean, it's cool. It's very nice. They have like a few different styles of the way things work together. And yeah, I'm, I'm about it. Like, look, look at these great, great ass shots of the boards they give you. Of the, the background art, the texture of the paper of course um this sort of we'll go find a decent page where i can display to you Th this sort of edging right here that'll date it because i've always found that the edging like these has helped me date what decade my rule books are from but i like it when i'm when i have it because it enjoy it enhances the enjoy the enjoyment i get out of these things a lot just this, just the graph on the side with a little bit of like the vellum tearing going on. That's very nice. That, while it is gonna have severely like all down the road, you'd be like oh, obviously this is 27. This was in, in the 2010s and whatever. The, the teens. I don't even know what this would be called. 2017 era, obviously. But for now, I like like I said, it help helps date it, but it also provides a lot of enjoyment for the consumer and look at these great ass pictures they all die already they got fucking little crazy eldar chart here you know, legend for it so 60 bucks all told 7250 for the whole shipment because i got this with the tactile objective cards how how would i rate this well for 60 dollars you kind of got to ship me a blowjob machine that pops out of the floor and sucks my dick whenever I want. You got to you got to be delivering me some shit for $60. But will I get 60 bucks of reading out of this? Yes. Outside of game play time, I think I'd get around $60 of enjoyment of just looking at the pictures and reading the things and the and and we're putting about a dollar an hour. Maybe maybe I'll pull out 60 bucks. Maybe I'll pull out 60 hours out of this thing. Just, like, going over stuff. Like, not reading it through on the initial, but, like, on my second, third, fifth, thirteenth read-through. Uh, read through where I'm just finding little things that I like. Like, oh, look at, look at that little thing over there. And put, uh, mm -hmm, that's cool. They put a little they put a little orc face down in the picture. I, in the corner. I, it's just small things. Like, I just noticed there's a fucking... Let's see if I can get this on camera for you guys. There's a skull right there. Right there. Little things like that. I enjoy little things like that. Will I get my money's worth? Beautifully printed book. Right now, I greatly enjoy looking at it. It's really... F I, I... It's... It releases uh, happy drugs in my brain, endorphins, just by looking at it. So, there's that comes with a nice silk uh, uh, placeholder and yeah I, I, I think it's worth my money that's why I gave it to him and I got it for the rules but along with the set of rules came a lot of cool shit so yeah there's a lot to be found in here a lot for me to uncover still but, like I said with my last one, for the money, I think Games Workshop's putting in a lot of work to make, you know, the pages, the individual pages entertaining is just something to look at as like a visual piece. The border's nice, it adds a nice feeling, there's a lot of, there's a lot of great things about this book, and I'm sure, I'm sure in time, when the new stuff, when my excitement fades, I'll find things I don't like about it. I already, you know, pointed out the one thing, the one aside, and, and you know, the kind of the other thing with the that the themes aren't transferring too well. Other than that, man, yeah, it's great. 
It's a great book. I have a feeling this is going to be one of those rule books that I'll be able to pull it out of the shelf and be like, you can tell it's made 2017, but that doesn't really matter to me because I'm not enjoying it then, I'm enjoying it now. Have a nice day.